Howdy, folks. Welcome to Retsu Talk, Episode 8. It's a foursome again with your familiar pals, me, Beatus, him, Slow Beef, he, Davo, and it, Proton John. That's about right. <laughs> Wait, who? Hello. Proton John. I feel I feel weird being here. People are like, where's Billy MC? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're close enough, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, this is going to be the entire episode is just me feeling horrible about myself, isn't this it? This is a Retsupray intervention where we just Retsupray in real life. Oh, great. You've already done this to me! <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that um, uh, a Billy MC podcast would not go as well as people are thinking. Yeah, people like uh-huh. think that's the funniest idea, but it just strikes me as being the most awkward, uncomfortable thing imaginable. Yeah, yeah you'd have a heart attack on air. You, should, you know what? Bad. You should get Billy MC on, and you should also do more gaming the Clinton years at the same time. <laughs> at the same time. There you go. <laughs> with my with Mike Dawson memes. Oh my God! What was that one you posted at Running Robert? Oh yeah, that was weird. So what the hell was that? Uh, I don't know a whole lot about 4chan, but apparently they have like a channel I think called uh, B or 2CH or something like that. Um, I'm I'm very familiar with 4chan slash B. <laughs> they um, but they they took a picture of that picture of Mike Dawson running, but I guess they didn't know what it was from, so they call him Running Robert and they caption it with like it was really stupid actually. I'm I'm not surprised. So it's memes related to him running away from things? Yeah. Like, uh... Oh, that think, sounds funny. Yeah, I think the joke was like, I thought she was 18 as he's running, which doesn't even really make a lot of sense. Basically, yeah, the Mike Dawson meme is being hijacked into an even worse meme. If you paid attention to the plot of Dark Seed 2, you would find he is in quite a different pickle. <laughs> Seriously. Than <laughs> statutory rape. <laughs> Murder. You know, close enough. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to warn everyone I'm not going to be as funny because I'm actually playing Blinding of Isaac while I, uh, while I do this. A Red Sea Cat first. Blinding of Isaac. We're actually unveiling our newest form of Let's Play, the audiobook Let's Play. <laughs> didn't, didn't Scarboy do that years ago? He did? Yeah, he yeah. did, actually. I the Mega that. Man 5 circle jerk we did a long ass time ago. Oh, you already did it in like screenshots? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Please t- go to the next image. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Good times. Yeah, I remember when that thread got gassed. <laughs> that was the highest of the times. Yeah. Yeah. The, the best. So, how is uh, Binding of Isaac beef? Um, I don't know. I, I guess I like it. You guess? I guess. I'm not really a big would fan you, of... Huh? Would you say that Binding of Isaac is a little bit like a shooter? <laughs> would you say it's Call of Duty? No, no, no. I'm, like, I'm, I'm talking about like a bullet hell style. Nah, it's not really bullet hell. It's it's um Smash it's TV a, kinda. Yeah, it's more like Smash it TV. It reminds me a lot of that game actually, yeah. Smash so you know TV. it doesn't remind you of all of Legend of Zelda? S- uh, very very slightly. Like in the art style. Like, undertone. So just really. a tad. The map and I uh and the ladder was lifted and the bombs. But... And the thing of other thing. And fighting your mom. Do you experience cognitive dissonance knowing that that game came from Newgrounds? Also, you know, the anti-religious sentiment in all the Zelda games. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you there's a similar, well, very vaguely similar, but it's also a Flash game that I checked out recently, as in like 20 minutes ago, that I thought was cool, called Realm of the Mad God. Have you guys heard of it? I'm, I'm not up on my Flash game, sorry, man. No, but with you talking about it like that, I want to buy it right now. (laughs) I'll buy a few copies. Um, you make well, it sound like I'm going to get it high by playing it. You will. You get super stoned immediately. Well, it's realmofthemadgod.com, and it's a Flash game that's like a bullet hell, right? Okay. But the uh, the difference is it's a MMO, and bullet so hell you MMO? play with other people on a server, and it's you level up and stuff, so there's items. and That actually sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty cool, yeah. I I played the tutorial. Realm of the Mad God? Realm of the Mad God. Let's everybody and... say it so we're like basically plugging it. <laughs> One, two, two, three. Realm, Realm of the, the Mad, Mad God. Mad God. Mad God. Mad God. Oh, fix that in, I'll uh, fix that in post. <laughs> <laughs> but, you're uh, you're it welcome. It's pretty interesting. You're welcome. <laughs> Start asking for a cut of the profits. You're welcome, okay. Johnny B. Good 43. This would be a good time to uh, tell you that this podcast is sponsored by Realm of the <laughs> Two Mad God. What was it called? Realm of the Mad God. Realm of the Mad God? Is Realm free of the Mad to play. God. 
Why is he a mad god? Why isn't he a happy god? You'll find out when you play Realm of the Mad God. That's the storyline? Finding out why That's he went from happy to twist. <laughs> Grumpy god. He was happy all along. <laughs> then he was insulted by Binding of Isaac. No. Oh. So yeah, Binding of Isaac and that game are somewhat similar. And they're probably both cool. Once you get more familiar with the mechanics of Binding of Isaac, I think you'll like it more. I, I don't I don't dislike it. I just I feel like um I also played a lot of Spelunky back in the day. And I felt like Spelunky when like you weren't so dependent on the random item spawning. You know what I mean? Like it it, it could still be random, but you had like a better shot of actually clearing the game. Whereas sure. Binding as Isaac right now, I feel like I could just get a really bad roll on the first level and I'm not even going to beat the boss. Or, I, I also I don't really like the bosses in it. They're all annoying. Well, there's only so it's, many bosses in the game, aren't there? There's a limited number, yeah. You'll see, those will repeat the most out of anything, probably. Yeah, that's the big thing. Like, I hate the Duke of Flies boss because you end up just like... Yeah, the, most of the bosses actually end up spawning new enemies, which I feel is like the worst kind of boss. Yeah, a lot of the bosses you have to fight defensively. Yeah. But then you'll get, like, there'll be one time where you'll get, like, I got a couple of playthroughs where I got an item where all of your tears are turned into bombs, and it just makes the game incredibly easy from that point forward. I got the laser tears, which made the game really easy. Yeah. I got a combination of the laser tears and that item that uh, makes you into a cyclops and makes your tears really big, so you fire this huge fuck-off laser all the time. I, I just got my cat's head in the game now. Uh, uh, Slowly, if we're talking about Binding of Isaac. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Please. Thank you. Yeah, you shouldn't be telling us about your rituals. It's really fucked up. Is weird. New Jersey that bad now that the Camden Police Force is down? What happened to the Camden Police Force? I read on the news that uh, Chris Christie, like, diminished the police force in favor of, um, like, some county officials or something like that. I don't remember exactly. I think Camden is, like, considered the... I think it's Most the dangerous city in the yeah. country. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, if you go there, you basically... if you. It, if you're at a red light, you don't stop. Detroit, you think you're hot stuff? Check this shit out. 15 yeah, people murdered in a day. Yeah, yeah it's like really fu- Slow beef works It's out like there. really fucked up. Oh, I would never go. I would never, ever go to Camden. Yeah. I record all Send my red supers in Camden. Okay, I'm from Camden. Um, I'm sorry. Make, oh, make shit. them feel legit. That's yeah. Finding of Isaac takes place in Camden, actually. Uh, I actually just got hit, which is why I said that. But anyway, sorry. Oh. Um... <laughs> Binding of Isaac is only five dollars, and it's for Mac. Dave, well. Dave, are you are advertiser. <laughs> He's lining up your sponsors, man. Enthusiastic endorsement, <laughs> or like a, I'm going to give you some sex if you play this game kind of endorsement. It's my secret. That's how I get paid. That's actually his job. They pay me, and they're like, back, yeah. Get on their podcast and plug our stuff. All right. During, like, the summer and winter deals on Steam, Binding of Isaac can get as cheap as, like, a dollar. So, yeah, get it. Just get it. So how do you actually get items in that game? Like, if you beat the game, do you keep what you had? Because I know when you die... You no, lose, so like, how it robot. works is that you progress through a series of floors in your parents' basement, and the items you get stay with you for that specific playthrough. Your mom's basement. Your mom's basement, yes, thank you. Slow beef. Unless there's okay. a spoiler alert I should know about. Yeah, but you don't keep the items you get uh, from game to game. Spoiler alert, Slow Beef doesn't have a mom. Too soon, Davo. <laughs> yeah. I'll edit. I'll fix that in post. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring your mom back to life is what I'm saying. God. No, I meant he never did. Like, they found him in the woods in Camden. Does Camden have woods? It did. It did. Did you ever hear about the Jersey Devil? I'm from Canada. I don't know well, anything. Canada and Camden America. are only a few letters apart, John. It's true. Maybe, maybe it's the exact same. Are there maple syrup trees everywhere there? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's just everywhere. people shooting each other. Yeah. But to be fair, in Canada, the maple trees also shoot at so each other. Yes. Well, I don't think they true. have guns in Canada if Michael Moore is anything to go by. No, uh, never go by Michael Moore. Yes. Ever. I go to him for all my video game information, too. I can't, he's the one who recommended Binding of Isaac. Both care is awful, and also get Binding of Isaac. Mm -hmm. So, uh, John, you're our special guest today. Uh, uh -oh. What you been playing? Um, uh, a bunch of random stuff lately. Uh, I picked up. All right, Devo. Uh, how about you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
No, you can go on to Devo if you want. Yeah. <laughs> really, all I can say is it's Tekken. So. Did you say Tekken Tek- 2? Tekken 2? Yeah, Tek- Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Oh, I was going to say, like, wow. TTT 2. They totally ruined the engine with 3, is where I thought you were going with that originally, but, like... I I could. I I'm looking at a copy of Tekken 3 on my desk right now. So I played a lot of Tekken 3 back in the day. You have a desk with a copy of Tekken 3 on it, like in front well, of your just, nameplate. No, I just I collect a bunch of games, so I just there's I ran out of storage space, and I was just all over my desk. Don't you have a legendary sized backlog of games? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you give us an estimate, numerically speaking? Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't ask this because mm-hmm. everyone's just gonna like what the. No, fuck? it's on my uh, cards, John. I'm ready. You know how in iTunes at the bottom it'll tell you how long the playlist will last. How about <laughs> that for the game you ever? Uh, I think I don't think it's physically possible for me to beat all the games I own. I, Shit. especially since I'll probably be killed from some YouTuber. So you're like, new technology has to be invented to d- expand the duration of life. All you've really told me is that you've got a few too many Final Fantasy games, basically. I've got 2,000 games right now. What? Yeah. Are there that... Do that many games exist? Uh, yeah. Well, 2,000. It's pretty... Yeah, I know a couple people with more. Uh, one of my friends in town owns about 3,500. Uh... So, I, I used to be a, a manager of a video game store, so that's why I have so much. You used to steal from the inventory? Is that what you're telling yeah, us? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Do you kill people and absorb their video games? I'm so, actually... That's my Highlander-type ability. I thought so. I have so. to cut people's heads off. There can only be one, only one. <laughs> and then there can only be one up. Games. There can only be one with 3,500 video games. He absorbs <laughs> their Steam library. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a movie about what that. You, oh, um... <laughs> Are you going to finish, like, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 with all the characters? God, no. Or all the combinations of the characters that you can tag tournament with? I feel like that would be, like, five weeks too many of Tekken. <laughs> that, would be, that would be, like, 500 video games too many. Yeah, exactly. Okay, gotcha. I, have to, I have to measure my free time in video game length. Right. Have you ever thought about WarioWare styling those games? Just to get them off your bucket list? Kind of, yeah. Every, every now and then I'll just play Super Nintendo stuff and just go through that. Like, or I'll stand behind you with a bullhorn, and, and every time I blow it, which is every five seconds, you can play a new game. That would be pretty good. Yeah. If it takes, if it takes so long to switch between games, though, because it would just be like, you blow the horn, I put in a Super Nintendo cart, find out it doesn't work, and then you have to blow the horn again. Well, well that's a mini game in and of itself, so. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> so I only get the A button, right? <laughs> Be the entire game in five seconds with just the A button. Mm-hmm. So if you okay, so if you play one game a day, okay, you know, a little under seven years. <laughs> God, that just makes it sound so much worse. Yeah. Wait, was that with two thousand games? Well, yeah, I, I think I've got six hundred or so of them beaten. So, but that that's all counting stuff from like when I was four. So. <laughs> you should get a gold belt made like in wrestling. For how many video games you be? <laughs> I'm the Canadian video game champion. It's got like the little spinner in the middle. Yeah. And each notch on the belt has one of those 2,000 games. You'd be the video game wizard, I think. That's the title. And, and then, and you need like a heel, you know, somebody like oh, yeah. who's like going to be like mad at you and try to beat the video game first, and oh, like yeah. you know, so like tell everybody in an interview like I'm going to be that before Proton John. Oh yeah. Oh, so. yeah I've man. already got one guy like that. That's Chugga Conroy, man. That's all he is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, who is that? <laughs> that's uh, that's the guy in the striped shirt you saw at the panel when you retrograde us. They all look the same to me. Um, I was looking at a Chugga Conway video today. How'd it make you feel? Um, he's he's very rushed. <laughs> what? He sounds like he's in a hurry. I think I've, I've yeah no that's that's true. He's your diametric opposite, Davo. I know it's it's what I was thinking. I was like, man, this guy's like. So you're saying show. if they do a video together, it'll sound like a normal speed video? A normal speed, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if maybe the three of us are kind of like some sort of dark mirror of the three of you. <laughs> so what you're saying is, I'm hideous and you're all beautiful. Why, yes, slow beef. No, I'm, I didn't really think it through that far, but as long as you're offering. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> you're welcome. No, right, I'm, cool. I'm sexy as fuck. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, Duh. 
who get all the let's let's play ladies after him. The let's play ladies, they call them. He gets the yes, exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say getting let's play, but you know, yeah, that works too. Um, let's laid. Let's, let's. I th- all those are great. Like let's play these. I that's that's the porn tube spinoff. <laughs> Come to our panel, the next packs were. <laughs> <laughs> how does how does one get a panel? I am genuinely curious. Yeah, tell us about um, that. O- honestly, like the panels have not been anything with me. There's a bit of a story why we've been doing it. Okay. It's because uh, the people who run packs are legitimately super fans of Chugga. Chugga. Conroy? So they've been okay. Chugga Conroy, yeah. Cool. They've been asking me for years to do uh, just a panel on Let's Playing. Okay. Was their vision like? talking about it in general, or was it more akin to what you've been doing the past couple of times? It, it's, they want us to just kind of talk about it and, like, I guess, show... I, I think they just want something on online videos in general, which could be interesting, depending mm-hmm. on who you had talking. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and Chugga, I'll just call him Emil, that's his actual name. He never actually wanted to do the panel. Because uh-huh. he doesn't think he can carry it by himself. So he, he was visiting me a couple years ago, and uh, there was a local convention where I used to volunteer at, and I'd run events and games there. So the game that I was running there was the one that we did at PAX East. And he saw me running it, and it worked perfect uh, here. So he's like, oh, let's just do this at East. That, that, that'll be our panel. I'm like, all right. This means I have to do the majority of the work for us. Well, like, I'm okay with that. Well, just in case anybody listening is not familiar with your panel, uh, you do a thing. Uh, what's, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the name. It's like... Throne Controllers. Thank you. Throne Controllers, yeah. And you like you set up basically a bunch. You get like two teams from the audience. Do you want to walk yeah. us through that for anyone who couldn't go to PAX? Sure. Uh, that was the pa- we did it different for Prime, but uh, for PAX East it was it was kind of like a Nick Arcade spinoff. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's this guy online who did a similar version down in San Jose, and I uh, mimicked it, and we tried it ourselves. So it was a so rip-off. two teams of four players and move around like a Nick Arcade type board. Okay. And just for anyone else who um, isn't familiar with it, at, when you did that at PAX East, did it go smoothly? Oh, fuck no. How badly did it go? And is there video fucking evidence of horrible. it? Horrible. Yes, yeah, you put it on your fucking channel. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I did, yeah. <laughs> that's right, you fucking asshole. I forgot about God that. Goddamn, I caught you. Ruined my life. <laughs> oh, that was awesome, though. Yeah, well, um, uh, yeah if, you're not, if you're not actually running it, it was very funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely hilarious. Um, it was it was great reading the comments. I read the comments after you posted the video, and people were like, "I hate that fucker." And like, I'm glad his stuff went bad, and blah blah blah. People said, and then that? it suddenly switched to discussing what slow beef looked like. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. It's never far from any fan's mind. <laughs> what does it look like? It's Last like time I checked, it it switched from what slow beef looked like to discussion of like ponies and religion. Uh, YouTube comments go in many exciting places sometimes. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple like standby, like what's slow beef look like? Ha ha, how high is Dave? Oh, mm-hmm. you know, like. This is for any YouTube video, not just ours. Yeah, actually, mm-hmm. anyone that you come across. Ray William Johnson. Justin mm-hmm. Bieber video. Those this cat video seems like a good place to talk about atheism, so. Right. Yeah. That was so, yeah, they that was annoying. That like one guy got mad at a video Proteus did like years ago. You know, where he like said something about atheism, and the guy got pissed off and started commenting all over our channel. It was crazy. Welcome to how YouTube works in general. It's so bizarre. I I don't know if it's just because people think they're anonymous and just can say whatever they want and get upset about anything, but it's just the comments make you want to shoot yourself half the time. Oh yeah, mm. no, it's it's an awful, awful place. Mm. That's why you should not read them. No. Absolutely. Not. I I make the mistake of still reading them, and half the time I'm okay with it, and half the time I severely regret my decision. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. But we call it all right. So I'm I'm enough making uh, fun of her. But like, how did did the Pax Prime one go better? That you oh did? so much better. Although that's not saying much, I guess. All things considered. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone did send a video to our Twitter account where uh, they linked a timestamp in a video someone recorded of your panel. And it mm-hmm. went straight to a um, like someone was playing Sonic, and your projector kept blinking in and out, so no one in the audience could really see what was going on. <laughs> yeah, um, another story to that too. We were told to show up at a specific time so we could set up and test everything. And uh, the company Razer that make like the mouse and keyboards, all those accessories, mm-hmm. they uh, they blocked our time. They took our time because they paid money for it, so we weren't allowed to get in the setup until like right before the panel. 
so everything else worked fine, but the older games. It just, I guess, because the resolution was so low, it just kept skipping in and out. Okay. But I had actually brought software or some stuff with me to get around that, but we didn't have a chance to set it up because we weren't allowed to test it in time. So uh, we had to go with that. So uh, Emil and Tim, the other two guys on stage, they decided to just commentate along with what was going on on the TV when the player was playing. Because the player could see what he was doing, but everyone else just saw the flashing screen. So every second or two, they would see a flash of like Contra or something. And did their commentary help? No. It's just <laughs> on my guard, dude. It's just on my guard. That's fair. <laughs> this is uh, edgy. Let's play. Just imagine whatever you want on the screen. <laughs> just have do... a dude off to the side going Contra. Did you did you do um a question Q and A Q&A panel? <laughs> no, we were going to, but our friends talked us out of it, which was probably the smart decision. Because I would really like to know if it was would be so much wor- I know it would be worse, but how much worse it would be than, let's say, the Mega 64 panel, where everyone had really stupid questions and they made fun of them the whole time. Or creepy questions. Right. I, I have a, I have a feeling it would just be creepy of questions. Are Tetris costume? <laughs> <laughs> well, Davos, is that, you asked, is that actually yes. from one of the panels? No, well, we were at the Mega64 panel at PAX East, and uh, I think we said this on our Twitter, but someone, one of the questions was, they had this weird setup, so, like, first you were, help me out, Sylvie, first it was, like, first you were three young boys, oh, then yeah. you were three young men, now you're like three, three golden gods, gods or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, it was like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like this weird dramatic setup, I don't even, did he have a question to go along with that? I don't think so, but like I, I like what I liked about the Mega sixty four guys is that they got a shitty question. They would kind of make fun of the person. Yeah, like someone would be like, "Do you believe or do you think Abraham Lincoln's the greatest president?" They're like, "Yes." Next, and then they just move on, you know. Right. Or like one guy had like a series of questions that were like create like all you know wacky. Graham like, "No, no, yes, no, next." It was, it was you know it's really good. Plus, they gave a Monkey prize. Cheese. To- I think they're hardened up to bullshit. Yeah. Well, they've been they've been doing panels there for years at this point. So they live in Santee, California. That's like right next door. Yeah. Why don't you go join them on their podcast? Yeah, go I'm ahead. I'm gonna go with touch them. their bodies. <laughs> I'm sure they'll appreciate that. That's a good place to end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, good night, everybody, John. Um, so it was the I saw in the video. It looked like the venue was a little bit smaller than the kind of bigger room you guys got at PAX East. Did that was that a factor at all? Did a lot more people get shut out than? The last time? No, like, uh, we had less people show up. That's because we were at, like, a kind of a busy time. Uh, uh, the panel was during the uh, the opening ceremony, or, like, the live... I forget, what's, what's the term for the guy who always starts off the, the convention? The MC. Oh, um, the keynote, keynote, keynote speaker. Yeah, keynote yeah, speaker. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So it was during the keynote, and, like, the second half of our panel was during Rooster Teeth and Double Fine. Okay. So it's, like... Anyone who showed up was probably like someone who just really only showed up for us. That was about it. Hmm. We had, I think it was like 200 people showed up. So, well, still, there you go. That's yeah. I guess it was mo- it was mostly for like Emil and Tim, which, I mean, whatever. I don't care. But <laughs> well, so obviously these people are idiots. Um, okay. John, you're in a safe place. You can voice off. <laughs> yeah, basically. You can tell them how much they're garbage and how much they're terrible at life. I, mean, <laughs> I it's, can't it's actually fine. because you can do that. Well, hey, I, I I'll just say that to their face if I actually have to say it. <laughs> What, uh, you carry the whole I, I'm thing? not shy about that stuff, so... Okay. I hate their fucking guts, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Those fucking assholes, god damn I'm it. saying there's something wrong with all of them. All two of them. I'm but, saying uh, they make my life a living hell day to day. <laughs> well, I mean, Beatus, you've met them. What was your actual opinion of them? Uh, I, I thought they were fine. I met them both at PAX, um... A uh, year ago, at PAX Prime. Yeah. Uh, they were fine. A little bit awkwardish, maybe. Um, yeah, no, I, they're they're a little. They've got some social issues. Yeah, I mean, there was a little. The, bit the, they've been getting a lot better since I've met them first. <laughs> Mealy mouthing. Sorry, what? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, I mean, they didn't say anything offensive or anything, so it was cool with them. No, yeah. I I don't know. Uh, if I don't know, I have issues with them, but they have issues with me, so it just kind of all balances out. They really. have issues. What issues could they have with you? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. They just these videos fucking suck. You're such a nice guy, that fucking asshole. Yeah, <laughs> you're not even on. No, it's, it's I get crap about my <laughs> upload rate all the time from them. So oh yeah, that's a good reason to hate you as a human being. Yeah, well, you've seen YouTube comments. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Or you, how quickly you upload. <laughs> I, I've seen people on on the Red Sea Prey videos that I've shown up in literally say I hate this person because they upload so slow. That's why I'm glad but you did this Ratsy Prey. That's the stupidest thing. You shouldn't upload fat, like, you know? Like, 
This guy has a life? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, that's how YouTube works. That's how all the comments are half the time. I'll never understand that. Like, that whole, like, you only have, like, you know, 400 videos. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Look at this joker with a thousand subscribers trying to make a point, huh? <laughs> like, you t you take, like, what, like a week or two break sometimes between videos? Well, we don't, like, plan... We don't have a time... Well, yeah. yeah. We just kind of, hey, we, let's do I mean, a video. It just kind of works out to something like that. Yeah, yeah like, I'd say, like, on average. Like, how often do you guys get a comment, like, why, where the hell is the next video? Uh, we, get, well, we get it, you know, but... Yeah, like, it not, happens. You know, not, not terribly, like, so, you know? We usually kill people that say that. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? Whenever we make fun of a popular LPer... Um, the two mm -hmm. fight backs, or, you know what I mean, like, the thing that people defend them, defend them with are, you know, you don't have as many subscribers as that guy, which, whatever, is, like, a popularity contest thing, but then the, right. what confuses me is the other thing they say is, like, look, you don't even have as many videos as that guy, and it's like, wait, that's, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, wow, well, yes. clearly that's the reason you don't have as many subscribers, Slow Beef. His videos suck, and there's a whole lot of them. <laughs> he put it's out like, 5,000 videos. I know, it's like, he'll just do anything. <laughs> you know, you just upload 5,000 videos tomorrow and you'll be up to SSOH's level right away. Oh, good. Okay. It's like, man, I could sit down and cut, like, churn out like 400 videos of me wandering around in a video game. But <laughs> That's what no kind of blows my mind, though. The, like, the SSOH, I don't know all of his letters, but... Um, like he... uh, his actual name's Seamus. Okay, well, he, um, he, was, he was cool with the video we made of him, and I think he even posted a video on his channel to that effect. Yeah, and, and he, he, he's a big fan, and actually he... Uh... The video he posted was to tell his fans to stop being assholes to you guys. Yeah, exactly, but, like, no one listens. So, no, no listen. YouTube.com. Internet. Yeah, yeah, basically. Glowing review, five stars. <laughs> Why don't you guys try doing a Let's Play first, jerks? <laughs> you got me. I, I always love it when you guys get that comment. I That's my that. favorite time. Maybe favorite if comment they made get. a Let's Play. <laughs> and then the comments were, these guys are the gods of Let's Play. They, were, they started the whole thing. I mean, we are kind of the gods of Let's Play. If I had to put a you know, fine point on it. First you were kids, then you were men, now you're gods. <laughs> I like how I got lumped into the category of one of the founders of Let's Play. <laughs> well, you you like, were doing it around the same time I well, was, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, but it's more like an early adopter of Let's Play than a, a founding father who wrote the constitution of Let's Play on Plymouth Rock. <laughs> we know. the Let's Players. We <laughs> the Let's Play. Yeah. I donned my powdered wig and made fun of Gogo. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that's Article One, actually. The whole thing. Yeah. Article One is four dots. <laughs> <laughs> LPArchive.org for Gold Row Thirteen. Um, we will plug I anything. Um, I need to find that screensaver I made for that thread. <laughs> you made a screensaver? Yeah. No. Rem uh, remember the pause menu? The da na 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 thing. Oh dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I made a screensaver of that. <laughs> yes. That was awesome. Oh, that's really great. <laughs> you should uh, re-LP that game. I think I should. Well, especially considering it went so badly, the recording software and all that was yeah, terrible. Yeah, what happened? Like, we got, like, so far through the LP. The audio... And then, like... Sorry. No, I, I couldn't remember what it was, but go ahead. Well, the audio drift is so bad. I really should have planned that more, too, because Golgo 13 is a hard fucking game. And you have you to... recorded half of it at work, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, so I, when I worked at MTV, I didn't work very hard. Um, <laughs> Unless it was for Let's Play. Right. Laid back, chill atmosphere, bruh. I, I used... Oh, it was crazy. I got in at like 11.30 and I beat everyone in. Um, yeah. That GoGo13 music video was kind of odd, though. Which one was that? Music video? No, MTV. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. But, um, that's more music than they usually show on MTV. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why that joke's no longer relevant, basically. Oh, I'll fix that in post. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show a music video before this will make sense. <laughs> Podcasting um, is hard. It is. It's more <laughs> Playing a video game more work than you is think. awesome, though. It's so hard to stay relevant. Um, just like MTV? It is, yeah, basically. <laughs> Shoot. Proton John just red suprayed MTV. <laughs> And you said you'd never read Supra. I fucking got you! Damn it! It was a trap! <laughs> Cut off the podcast! Damn your tricky <laughs> questions. Damn your gotcha questions. <laughs> Damn your gotcha questions. Relevant. Sarah Palin, right? He's like a lawyer. Canadian, I know American politics. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sarah Palin. Yeah. Um, no. Sarah Palin's barely American, dude. She's basically Canadian. She's up there in Alaska. <laughs> we, we don't want her. 
<laughs> you, you can keep her. She's Trust she's it. up there in Fox News County now. But we got enough ice as it is. You can keep Alaska. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that we want anything to do with Alaska. You can see Canada from Alaska. Did you know that? Yeah, I can also see Russia. Mm. Fact. <laughs> Fact. Nice. This has been the Fox News Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about before all that? Golgo? Politics, apparently. Oh, Politics. Uh, Golgo, yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they made a Golgo anime recently. Did recently? I just talk about this? Yeah. Was there a demand for that? I think you talked about it during the LP. No, 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 more recently. Like, oh. like the last couple of years. They did, like, 13 episodes, and uh, I watched it when I was, like, waiting for, like, police not shit to go on, and um, it's the same episode 13 times over with a different, like, circumstance, which is basically, like, oh, my God, like, uh, we need this person shot, but they're in a place that's, like, impossible for a sniper to get to, and Golgo 13's like, I'll take the shot. And then he takes the shot and makes it, and everyone's like, oh my god, Golgo 13, the ultimate sniper. And he walks off into, like, you know, the sunset. That's pretty much how the books were, too. <laughs> I think the books have more dots than the actual show. Yeah, it's really nuts. And, uh, yeah, but every fucking episode, it was great. But, um... I think that's actually on Netflix, isn't it? The Golgo 13 anime? Netflix. Yeah. Go for This'll it. get Netflix out of the black. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is Netflix doing bad? Supposedly, yeah. Well, it, the Amazon Instant, or Amazon Prime, is, like, catching up to it, because they're getting some more high-profile blockbuster movies on their streaming service. Oh, okay. Bastards. Yeah. We don't even get that in Canada. Amazon? Like, like, yeah, no. Well, the, we didn't get Amazon, like, Amazon wouldn't sell us games for years. I think it was back in, like, 2004 or five they finally started selling us games. Hmm. Canada's just now getting MTV, right? Yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. This is why I think they... we got MTV MTV Canada like two or three years MTV ago. MTV Canada? <laughs> yeah, because we can't just have your MTV. We have to have our own. Dramatic panning across maple syrup trees. It, yeah, it can't be too exciting. To Nickelback songs. I, oh, God. I feel like this is why they call Canada America's Mexico. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> they, they do say that, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It's about time you guys got one. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time we had a Mexico. Um, Gotta do something about those drug cartels, Proton John. <laughs> I know, they're getting really bad up here. <laughs> I, I live next to the murder capital of Canada, and I think it's, a, it's up to five murders a year now. <laughs> what? Really? Is, Cal- is Calgary the murder capital? No, Edmonton is. It's like three hours away, but... I think Calgary gets like maybe five murders a year. Edmonton gets probably only like 40. 40? <laughs> well, that's, hmm, that's not bad. Is that what the, your PAX panel is about, by the way? Murder in Canada? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Okay. Talking about. Let's talk Canadian. about how to reduce the murder rate in Edmonton <laughs> while we play Super Mario 3 or Sonic or whatever. <laughs> Red Suit Talk tackles the tough issues. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the right form for it, though. Apparently, the panel I made was way too difficult for everyone who showed up. Like, to understand? No, like, they didn't know the questions. Oh, you have a. Oh, yeah, you have trivia. Yeah, uh, one of the questions was, who's the main uh, villain in the original Mega Man games? What? You asked that at the uh, PAX East panel. Wait, 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 how do you not, how does someone not know that? Like, unless they'd never played video games, like my mom or something. The, the, the kid who was answering it, he said, I've never played Mega Man before, and then the entire audience booed. And he was killed later. He guessed, like, Mega Man, I think was who he guessed. <laughs> what was his oh, guess? Wait, Mega Man? Mega Man. Like, Mega Neg- Man. Mega Man. Yeah, negative man. Neg vibe man. <laughs> what an idiot. I guess that's not too far removed from Proto Man, in a way. I guess. Even though that's still not... Act- well, okay. Oh, you know, I mean, I, I'm joking about being, being an idiot, but, like, it's a lot for the audience to boo him, though. I mean, you know, like, what what an asshole, and they throw shit. Look at this nerd not knowing who they are. Yeah, nerds will turn <laughs> you know what? That's on what you. PAX is. It's like nerds beating up other nerds. It's so weird. <laughs> I don't know what that's like at all. Um... <laughs> Shit. Well, that's, uh, that's for another podcast. <laughs> I think that's for your what YouTube else? channel. Actually. That's for the therapy episode. What um what other uh, questions did you ask? Uh, that one was an easy question. I'm trying to think of some other easy ones. Uh, what does Gordon Freeman carry around as a weapon? Oh, um, what's it, what's his signature weapon? Crowbar. His, his intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Black his, Mesa. <laughs> carries Black Mesa around with him. That's right. I was a little, you know, honestly, like, the first half of Half-Life 2, I was a little disappointed in, because I felt like the whole thing was, like, 
you meet some person like, Gordon Freeman! And then, okay, go down there for a bit. And that was, like, the whole conversation people would have. Like, you were this celebrity, but then they would just tell you where to walk. Anyway. Well, this is all very funny. Everyone loves you, because, yeah, you never say anything both games, so yeah. they clearly love you. Apparently not. Fair enough. Uh, Black Mesa's timely news, though, isn't it? Hey, is speaking of oh, Black yeah. Mesa, yeah. I might have to get Do you that. guys... Yeah, Black Mesa source is complete. Oh, right, yeah. Devo, you seem to be in the though. Tell us about uh, what Black Mesa is. It is a complete recreation of the original Half-Life game using the Source engine. So it's not like, um, if you guys remember when Half-Life 2 came out, you could do this thing where it was like the original Half-Life with slightly upgraded graphics. It's not like that. It's like taking advantage of the physics. I think there's even some new puzzles and stuff. I, I never make it sound so sexy. I've never played the original Half-Life, so I'm kind of interested to do this. I haven't either. It seems like a good entry I, point. It, it's a good game, but I think it's more a thing of its past or a thing of its time. Oh, like it doesn't hold up as well. You don't think, think it's a little too antiquated for now? It, it might be okay with Black Mesa Source. I haven't tried it, mm-hmm. but I, I tried going back to Half-Life 1 after I beat the second one because I hadn't beaten it. Yeah. And I only got I got halfway through and I just kind of like, I don't... Feel like playing this anymore? It might, I don't know if it's because I just played Half Life Two and went back to one, or what it was. But and then you looked at your backlog and cried for a little while. Yeah, no, that happens every night. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, when are you going to play that uh, Superman sixty four bullshit? Fuck. Uh, my plan is to finish that this year. Oh. So. What is the status of that Let's Play? Um, what do you, what do you mean by status? I mean, like, was what am progress. I progress. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next, next couple episodes are recorded. Notes are written down for what to cover in it. But he means like relationship uh, status. I'm at, I'm at the halfway point, basically. I'm I'm going for world's longest running LP. So. Okay, so just another three years, it'll be done. Is that really the record, Gurley? Uh, what is what? is there a record? There's the didn't like get well gamers have like a five year Deus Ex LP or something crazy. Like I that? think the the other one though that beat that is Shadow Catboy had a Planescape Torment that was like five years. That was the one, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was really annoyed by that honestly, but because it's like, all right, will you just fucking give up on it or fa- I mean, you know, it's just getting crazy. Like, well, I mean, that's why I'm not posting about it on SA anymore. Is because you said if you do it again, I'm just going to ban you for <laughs> making too many threads. Well, it was like ridic- it got ridiculous. I'm just oh, like, I, you know, what? I'll be perfectly honest. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think I was going to ban. I don't know if I'd ban. Get out of here! I'm slow beef. <laughs> people, people legitimately asked me, "Was I run off of something awful because of that LP?" Well, you weren't. I mean, you can come back. Whatever. I know, but just, just like you know, either do the LP or don't. I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, that's why I'm just kind of. I'm obviously I'm just doing it at my own pace, which is slow as molasses. But that that still is an advantage of YouTube.com, though. True. Well, no, I get uh, bitched out about that all the time on there too. It's actually worse there than it would be on something awful. Well, but you, uh, you, yeah, I guess mm-hmm. so. It's 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 pro- yeah, it's probably worse to catch the ire of you know. The difference is you have control over that ire in a way. Well, yeah, sort of. I can just block it, but you know, you can only or disable comments or just not read them. Yeah, but if, at that point, like, if you're disabling comments, really, you're, that means that you're letting it get to you. Dick Nabbit! <laughs> <laughs> did you ever meet that guy? I, I did it, actually. I did him. I met him uh, at MAGFest a year and a half ago. I met him and Madame Luna. Oh, Tell okay. us everything. They're really nice. Like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that they're getting married this year Oh, or that's not. awesome. Well, you kind of just said it's... But I just did. Uh, you can edit that out in post, right? Yes, I'll fix it in uh, post. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anything good is going on in Deceased Crab's life, I'm I'm very happy about it. It's very nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, he, he seems like a really good guy in person. Uh, I think yeah. he's a little a little on edge at times, but I think it's just because of yeah. his job. Yeah. And unlike Ma La Milana, I hope he doesn't have to get married twice. Oh, boy. Oh. So. He's actually just going to redo it in two years. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so, I should not. Have, oh shit! That, that so first bad. one it didn't go very well. Let's <laughs> do it again. God <laughs> dang, damn it! Shh, I'm remove gonna, the remove the marriage links. <laughs> I'm not going to invite so many people this time. <laughs> All the noisy ones are blocking them from showing up to the wedding. You want the truth? You can't handle it. I'll tell you anyway. Your marriage is a sham. If there are any objections, speak now or forever. Hold your peace. But I have to approve your objection before it gets posted. <laughs> You're not allowed to get married yourself. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Get Remove the, the wedding Get the fuck out of my now. wedding now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I forgot. 
Diseased crab getting married. Overall, no, nice um, guy though. You'd recommend. Oh hang, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, uh, hanging out with him. Magfest. What is Magfest? Yeah. Uh, it's convention, music and game festival in, I guess Virginia, that area, the Washington D.C. area. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe we should so, go to that. Uh, it seems like mm-hmm. a pretty fun convention. It seems like, um, from what I've heard about it, it has more emphasis on kind of the musical kind of portion of it, or the concert. Yeah, so every, every night has like a bunch of different bands playing yeah. sets. Oh, that's... You mean video game stuff, or just music? Yeah, uh, let's, let me see. I'll name off a bunch of bands that I know have been there. Uh, Nickelback. Nickelback. Yes, that's Nickelback's all about the video games. Mm-hmm. Didn't you remember their famous song, This Is How You Remind Me About Beating Mario 1? <laughs> that's, that's Nickelback, every Nickelback song. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. They're from Alberta, which is why oh. no one likes them here. Oh, oh sorry. wait, I forgot. They're that they're that band that did that terrible photograph song, right? Yes. It's actually <laughs> Proton John's cousin. Look at that photograph. That's the photograph song. He's, he's our family shame. Yeah. Whoa. To Nickelback. Uh, there was a petition at a Detroit uh, football game. They were going to play the halftime show. There was a petition in Detroit to ban them from participating in the halftime show. <laughs> <laughs> Did it actually happen? Uh, no, they they came anyway. But it, it does That's kind of redeem point. Detroit to some extent. <laughs> Detroit Detroit's actually trying. Yeah, we'll get Chip Cheesem to talk about it in the next podcast. Did they ever get that RoboCop statue they were fighting for? Um, I don't know. Did they? They did get a RoboCop unit for the Detroit police. <laughs> <laughs> they get the- <laughs> well, that's the next best thing to a statue. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, the actual thing. The, the giant robot. Yes. Right. I would prefer the Ed 209, personally, but, you know. Mm. I think can't walk downstairs, though. Well, I'm sure with today's technology, you know, an Ed 209 could probably navigate it. <laughs> Ignoring that future tech from whatever year that movie came out. Right. <laughs> I'm Future tech of 1985. So, John, cons. Cons, John. John oh. cons. You go to a lot of cons, John, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't run any, thank God. Do you That'd go to Comic Con, John? Oh, I'd love to see what those things sell out in like three hours. Yeah, they're actually going to rename it to Comma John Con. Wait, is that true? Comma <laughs> John Comic Con. Comic Con sells out pretty quick. Most people buy their tickets uh, at in the Comic-Con. previous year, like three yeah, years in they advance. Have a, they have like a deal where, like, as you're walking out of the con, they're like, you can buy your tickets for next year, right now. Uh-oh. That's interesting. And that's, I think, like, half the allotment for tickets right there, so. Ah, mm. uh, shit, okay. That's interesting, because I was, uh... I, I hear that, I think it's a little bit easier to get to the New York one compared to San Diego, oh, but it, it's, like, four hours they sell out compared to the three. I live that. in San Diego, so I um, go downtown the day they go on sale, and then I mug someone who has some. That's a smart idea. You just kind of ease them into it, a false sense of security by talking to them? It's easy to tell who has them because they're probably wearing a Big Bang Theory shirt. <laughs> yeah, oh, and they're Jesus. screeching and running happily. I thought nerds hated Big Bang Theory. It, I don't know, it's hit or miss. Like, I know people who love the show, and I know too many people who remind me of the show to actually enjoy it myself. Well, it's... Uh, I don't know. Just discuss. I think... I, I, <laughs> I, I, whenever I watch it, I feel like it's trying so hard to appeal, you know... It's like kind of fake, because like I remember. Like, I yeah, well, I mean, they they got like Will Wheaton on there and everything. I, like, yeah, all I, the nerdy references they can come up with, right? Or the one guy's like, like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm playing Mario sixty four on a poorly coded emulator. Laugh track. Like, first of all, like, I mean, most people aren't even know what the hell they're talking about. But think, well, why would you do that anyway? Like, what? I think the show is more like it's making fun of nerds than actually trying to make them. But they're be entertaining. Yeah, I guess it's just it's like somebody described it as nerd blackface, which might be a little strong, but yeah, it's like more or less. Like <laughs> it, it's it. got a good point to it. Yeah. Blackface, really? Yeah, you know, we're being persecuted. Apparently, they went to they went to Comic Con one year. They, apparently, they went to Comic Con one year, and people were asking them like super nerdy questions, like, "What's your favorite Final Fantasy?" And <laughs> oh, of the actors. Like, yeah, and they're like, "I have no idea what that is." <laughs> It was, yeah. like, the most awkward situation. And the rest of the panel is 15 minutes of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> What's your favorite Final Fantasy? I don't even know if I can answer that. <laughs> yes, I can. Seven. I love you, Tifa. Uh, thank um, you. I was about to kick you out of the podcast. Blue's like, there's no way I could answer that, because with the intricate mysteries of Final Fantasy, you can't simply choose There's no way I could answer that, because there are thir- more than 13 games. Which lard- large-eyed anime character do I love the most? Tactics. Uh, Tactics is pretty great. Actually. Tactics is awesome. Yes. 
Agreed. Mm-hmm. See, I win. <laughs> sure. Dave, oh, you just won you. this entire argument, Dave. Oh, congratulations. Uh, you, you've won the podcast. I didn't even know that was possible, but you did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this I, is the last episode. Things. We can shut it down. Yep. Fine. You we, made it to eight. That's pretty good. The, the secret point of Red Sea Talk was to determine once and for all the best Final Fantasy <laughs> tactics. See, w- when everyone joins the podcast, they're given a secret mission like in a board game. You have yeah. to try to win the board That's <laughs> the mine. mission during the podcast. We're going to talk about some Let's Play okay. stuff, but if you could plug your favorite Final Fantasy and tell us why in a succinct way... <laughs> hmm. Mm. <laughs> Final Fantasy X-2 would be a good game to Let's Play, though, seriously. Really? I've never actually played it. Because you could Let's Play the game so easily. Yeah. Oh. You realize if you keep saying that, people are going to ask you to do it, right? Probably. I mean, well, I do yeah. own the game. I just don't have the capability to record the game. But if I did, you, I'm like, hmm. you don't even, you don't even need an HD game bridge for that. <laughs> well, you shit! I just got get a, owned by Dave. You, you could even get a PC emulator. I bet at this point. For PS2, yeah, games, actually, really? PS2 emulators aren't that bad to be emulated anymore. Yeah, they're actually pretty good these days. Mm-hmm. Wait, isn't, isn't and as PS- long as you own the game, <laughs> well, isn't it PS- otherwise you have to delete it within seventy-two hours. <laughs> Who made up that rule, by the way? I don't know. It just it caught on, and people think it's actually real. The attorney general enforces that. Yeah, he comes to your yeah, house. He has a stopwatch. Yeah, Dave was actually the attorney general. It's true. PS2 emulators used to be horrible on computers, but I hear yeah, they're actually pretty good now. Yeah, but you need PS3, was- right? Hmm? But you need PS3. Is 10 2 on a PS3? No, you just need a really good computer. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, you're saying 10 2. I'm sorry, I was thinking of 13 2. Yeah. No, it's like oh, yeah, no, I, I don't even think anyone's tried to. Are there even like Blu ray drives you can get for computers? I'm sorry, and, what? Uh, Kung Fu Jesus and the gang LP 13 2 not too long ago. So fuck them, we'll do it too. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, you gotta do 13 3, clearly, because <laughs> someone probably already did 13. 13 3. There is a 13 3 coming out, right? Yeah, really? they announced it. it's like Lightning Returns or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something was like was Final Fantasy XIII that well received? It was not very well received, it wasn't. was it? It was, it's one of the most hated Final Fantasies. Or was it like well received in Japan or something, but not in the States? Nope. No? Oh, okay. They just had a lot of content, so they're like, fuck it, we'll do it We're anyway. out of ideas! <laughs> <laughs> well, then there's is 14 the other MMO, and that was like really terrible, and they stopped taking money for it. Yeah, they uh, yeah. they apologized. the uh, The CEO of the company like flat out said, "I'm sorry, we released such a shitty product. Uh, let everyone play for free, and then is re releasing it or did re release it recently." But Jeez. we'll get you a free copy of Final Fantasy Thirteen Six. Thirteen Six. Thirteen Sixty Nine. Yeah, they're really at this rate. They're really kind of screwed at this point, huh? Well, I mean, they're they're making more money off of like their IDOS because they they own IDOS now, so yeah. the new Tomb Raider and everything that's coming out. Oh yeah, that that seems like it's going to be a winner. Yeah. If you don't mind the snuff porn aspect of it. No, that's exactly what Tomb Raider needed more of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wasn't enough what bums me out is that all games are just the new whatever, like the new Call of Duty, the new Tomb Raider. There's like so rarely ever new things, except for the greatest game ever, Minecraft. <laughs> That's where the but new people ideas even make stop. people make new copies of Minecraft all the time. Look at Terraria and Fortress Craft. Well, I, n- I know that, but at least Minecraft was some you know original. I felt That's true. Yeah, I mean, anyone who makes an original idea eventually just people keep making more of it later on. But I was actually I was kind of looking through like what happened at PAX, and I was like chuckling because it's like Resident Evil Six, and I was like, do we need six Resident Evil games? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm probably think... going to get Resident Evil 6. No, I am too. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It, it's honestly a great co op game. Five well, was, five, yeah. was five, 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 rather. So. Yeah, we played five. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys did some videos of that too, didn't but, you? Yeah, but the uh, Mercenaries game. They could take the gameplay elements and come up with some kind of a new, well, you know, like setting. Right. It doesn't have to be all zombies all the time. They're not even zombies. Well, they tried going away from zombies and people complained. That's the problem. The reason we keep getting so many repeats of games is because people complain too much. Yeah, because yeah, they tried to get away from zombies with the Plagas in 4 and 5. Well, it's, it's an easy... Which is, which is operationally the same thing, but... it's You know what, though? Mm. I mean, like, financially, it's just it's a no-brainer, you know? It's like, well, do I want an easy sell and have, like, half my marketing done for me, or do I really want to start to convince you on Assure, Assure's Wrath or whatever the fuck it is? Mm-hmm. 
you know. To be fair, that game was actually kind of awesome. I heard it wasn't much of a game, though. Like, it was a lot of cutscenes. No, it's not. It's pretty much four hours, if even that, of cutscenes with, like, quick time events. But if you, like, just wanted to watch something stupid and ridiculous, it was great. Okay. Maybe I'll check it out. If you wanted, it's the equivalent of a B movie game. <laughs> more, more so than House of the Dead Overkill? Oh, okay. No, that is the literal definition. I want to um, play that. I haven't played it. I just saw videos of it. You haven't played it? Don't you have a PS3, Peter? I thought that was a... Isn't House of the Dead a Wii game? Yeah, they overtime. ported it to the PS3 last year or this year. Oh, did they? Oh, well, I have, I have yeah. a Wii too. I mean, I don't know. You have I a... think they added like an extra stage or two in the PS3. I'm, I'm currently yes. looking through Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Oh, I haven't played that. How is that? It's, it's quite good. It's really fun. It's a departure for sure, but I think that's because the game was meant as a... Well, I downloaded the HD edition, which you can play on PS3, but for most people who listen to this, they probably know it was a PSP game released, I think, two years ago. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, so it's much. It's not like. In, it's a follow up to Metal Gear Solid 3 and Portable Ops. Though my understanding is that uh, they kind of throw away any canon that was established by Portable Ops, if there was any. Uh, the, only, the only thing I remember hearing is like they introduced this one character at the end of it, and then apparently Portal, Peace Walker ignores that or something. Like in Portable Ops, there's. Like that's where Big Boss meets Roy Campbell. Oh, right, because they're in the prison at the beginning. Yeah, that's and it. Don't they introduce Gray Fox or something as well? Um, if they have, I haven't gotten to that point yet, but they do um, They do introduce Miller, who I'm guessing is the same Miller that is uh, supposed to be in, like, the Metal Gear games and then in Metal Gear yeah, Solid 1. Yeah, same dude. Yeah. Yeah, Metal Gear 2. and Yeah. So if we should VLP Metal Gear 2. The Solid Snake? That yeah, the one you did that first screenshot LP of. It's the one thing I'm going to want. It's really fucking redundant. Like, it, there's tons you of You mean Metal Gear isn't? Well, <laughs> I think, like, it, it takes... It, it's, like, the worst one, basically. Like, mm. it's... there's You have to backtrack across the whole game, like, two and a half times. Well, that's like, what the whole map, the for. world map. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. All right, yeah. I was upset because I, I did want to do it, but Chip Cheesem kind of did it as part of his Snake Eater or whatever Let's Play. But, you know, fuck him, honestly. Ban him. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you well, have the power. It'll, it, hey, that's right. I'll delete that podcast episode if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Erase uh, him from history. <laughs> he doesn't exist in LP <laughs> canon anymore. <laughs> Chip and Ironicus.com is gone. It's basically like the Adjustment Bureau getting banned. Is <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm liking Peace Walker a lot. It follows a mission-based structure, which makes sense because it was originally meant as a portable game. So it's a well, you know you, so pick up you and play play portable ops right. I did not play portable ops no. Oh okay, I was gonna ask you because the big thing in portable ops is you had to keep recruiting people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you would like you would drug people and then drag them towards like a truck and then Campbell would drive off with them and suddenly they'd be on your team. Yeah. So you're basically kidnapping people for your militia. Yeah, and that's exactly what you do in Peace Walker as well. That's exactly seriously how... that's awesome. Yeah, you, you have this thing called the Fulton Recovery System, which is like my favorite thing because what you do is you can knock out soldiers or get them to near death or you know hold them up, and you can just strap a balloon to their back and they float off to your base. <laughs> it's completely ridiculous, and it even works when you're indoors or underground, and it's the greatest thing. That is amazing. Yeah, but it's it's kind of like did you guys ever play uh, Suikoden? Oh, nope. you mean Suikoden? Is that everyone not said? I have no idea. Honestly, I, I think it is actually. No, wait, Sweet Koden? Right, sushi, sushi Koden? No. Well, no, I wouldn't mean Sweet Koden. Sui Koden. Sui Sui Koden. Sui Koden. Let's spend the rest of the podcast working this out, guys. Sui Koden. All right. Sui Koden. Sui Koden. It reminds me of that in a way because you recruit a bunch of people, you build up the central base, whereas in Sui Sushi Koden, you build up like a <laughs> castle or whatever. Uh -huh. As you recruit people, there's like 108 people. They're the distinct characters. It's kind of different. But in Metal Gear, you recruit soldiers. You get them to like do combat. You get them to do intel. You have a medical team, an intel team, a mess hall team. And your plant or your base expands as you recruit more people or you progress further in the game or whatever. It's really cool. Me a mess hall team? Okay. Like a, like a, like you do, yeah, you have a mess hall team. So you recruit people in your mess hall team to keep everybody you recruit well fed. And if you don't that, have like, your... rates uh, up your health or stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so if you don't have like over 100% food or whatever, mm -hmm. then people will get kind of hostile or grumpy or they'll leave or whatever. Wow. I remember Portable Ops had this weird feature where if you you would pick up Wi-Fi signals and they would turn into characters for you. Oh, Portable Ops? Yeah, like if you went to a wireless signal and just 
mashed the X button for a while, you suddenly got a character. And sometimes, like, certain internet connections would get you super powerful ones or rare ones. Wow. Interesting. So, so I, I doubt they have that in the PS3 one. Yeah. I don't see people carrying around their PS3 trying to pick up wireless signals. Mm-hmm. And, uh, try it, Beatus. <laughs> <laughs> Strap it on your back, walk around. I'll try it. But my uh, my favorite thing about uh, Peace Walker is that it's it's all co-op, or you have the option of co-op throughout. Oh, really? So, if, yeah, if you ever have a mission that's a little too difficult, like, you can have at least one other person join you on the mission. So you can, like, create a host or whatever, and people will join up for it. Or if you just feel like playing for a couple of minutes, you can look for someone else who's hosting a game and, like, take down a tank or a helicopter or whatever. Maybe I sh- maybe I should get that game. You you should. I would recommend it. It's twenty bucks for uh, on PSN. I passed it up because um, I had a f- I have a friend who uh, tra- helped translate it, basically, and he told me some of the parts of the plot, and I'm like, that sounds really fucking stupid. Never mind. It, it's a Metal Gear game. The the story just goes nuts. Yeah. You realize that he copy pasted the police knots translation and used it for Peace Walker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I never said it was the same guy because. Yeah. Damn you, Mark! <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I'll have to edit that out. Anyway, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fix that in post. Fix that in post. Yeah. post. No, um... It's Mark with a K. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference. You used a C when you said it. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. That fixes it. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's that. So there's that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is not here right now. Yeah, basically. Where did he go? Oh, did he say the washroom? Oh. The washroom? Or potty, sorry. <laughs> the wash. Oh, you guys call it the bathroom, don't you? I call it uh, the shitter. Oh, right. And I would appreciate sorry. it if you did that too in Canada. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I call it the proton john. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, that's not original. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> that's not original? No. I'm, I think he's probably gotten that his whole life, he meant. Hey, I took a proton john, and when I finished, he still didn't update. <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> I'm an average YouTube person. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming yeah, that's pretty what much. like. Yeah. I bet you I can type that word for word in my email and find that. In your email? <laughs> hey, John, I took a shit. You didn't update. Uh, can you go reply? Thanks. And give me a shout 37 out. Hits. 37 hits. 37 hits. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> how um, how has your YouTube superstardom affected your life? Oh, fuck. Oh, first, sorry. first off, the term the LP superstars. <laughs> no, I no, it's term, yeah. YouTube superstardom. I was saying YouTube specifically. Oh, right. That big, big difference, really. YouTube.com. Is it just me, or does it feel like the the something awful forums have kind of been bleeding together with YouTube a lot lately? Well, I think part of it is that YouTube is a more viable video host than it used to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if people tend to like tip or whatever, because people are getting attracted to their videos or whatever it's just a little more natural since you know youtube can record 1080p it's no time limit or anything like that anymore so you know that's part of it yeah i don't know i just remember when like something off used to be super elitist about like oh we're better than youtube or like whatever no, and then it seems like no we're still oh, like kind of this still lied don't worry yeah okay. oh david no, how was the uh, potty no really bad video yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah. Really bad videos that people post that just from their YouTube account we call them YouTube dumps now because that's kind of what they are. And you know, it's, like, it's kind of obvious when they happen too because they just post like all of their videos in their first post. I love doing YouTube dumps. They're uniformly terrible. There's yeah. always something wrong. You know, it's like it's not even just like oh you just did that and as a rule. Yeah, I'm it, well, it's suck. just really transparent. It's just obvious that they're trying to mm-hmm. do that to get more views to their channel or whatever by posting right. on a semi-popular forum. Right. And they don't realize that, like, unlike YouTube, we, we actually have a decent quality control. Yeah, yeah, basically, it's very self-police, which YouTube is, is not, not really. No. It it tries to be, but it doesn't work. Like anyone who tries to give you actual constructive criticism usually gets chewed out by the super fans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they get drowned so. out. So, like, yeah. John, if John, if you were to post like just like a legit crap video, like it looked like shit, you like cussed a lot in it. What would people do besides say, "Oh, hey, an update finally." They actually they'd say that, and then they'd give it two million views, which <laughs> is why that Kaizo video has two million views. Well, we would never stuff. like make like a crap video where, let's like, say, we just did movie titles for like you know an hour or so straight. That would never happen. We're better than that, okay? Quality control. Hmm. What led you to choose Apocalypse, anyways? Um, probably the just because 
Bruce Willis thing. Yeah, that was like, the novelty aspect of that. But then when we were watching the video a little bit, the gameplay was all very samey. So when we were yeah. talking to each other, we were like, there's not a lot we can say about this. And when we were IMing back and forth about it, uh, I think we just kind of devolved into posting other Bruce Willis movies as jokes. We were doing it to each other about stuff that didn't have to do with the game then. Because yeah. like, I remember there was something else going on, and I was like, oh, well, make sure it's, you know what I mean, or whatever. And then we were making each other laugh with that, so we're like, let's just save that gag for when we run out of material in the apocalypse. For when we really need it in like ten yeah. minutes into the video <laughs> is what happened. <laughs> Five minutes even, I Five think. minutes, a couple minutes into the video. Yeah, it was like, oh, okay, this is not going so well. So. And then that was the rest of the video. Basically, yeah. Yeah. So who picks like what long plays you guys make fun of? Is it just you go off of rent? Because you did Time Gal recently. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, like, did you guys... Was that just suggested to you? There's or? a secret council. <laughs> I re- <laughs> this, the RP council. I remember um, I remember playing Time Gal way back when. I had the idea for it a while back, but um, there wasn't a, a, a wrong prey of it until recently that um, uh, that, that guy did. Uh, I find it funny you keep doing uh, wrong play, or long plays that the one guy you've read to played recorded. Oh, yeah, Valis... Whatever. Yeah, Valis. Yeah. We rescue Pride Tom? He's the guy who would do like the let's eat videos. Oh that, that really Cynics did that more, but um I thought you guys did at least one video. Oh, did that him. happen like during the days of the old RP threads? Yes. Where other people yeah. would Red Spray like um stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. they would do the live action videos. He kept doing videos of him eating food and then it got really awkward when people found out he was like a child molester or something like that. Oh. A something yeah. awful poster? A child molester? No, he's not in that <laughs> He was not a something awful just... poster. No, that, that's a YouTube quality, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Is that like a, a YouTube thing? user, a child... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's that. Um, that's awkward. Um, <laughs> awkwardly changed subject? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's... Anyway. <laughs> so, John, you're losing your house, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the sad thing I am. Wait, what? Yeah, I actually am. <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> I mean you for losing Fucking your kill house. you, Venus. <laughs> no, um, I was going to say, that's awful. Why are you losing your house? Uh, Stop the, laughing the person, at him slowly, it's but it's just slowly disappearing one room at a time. I don't know. Pretty, pretty much, there's, a, there's actually a, was an excavator just outside our window a couple days ago. <laughs> just staring at you? No, they, they tore down the house next to us. Where's the next Superman 64 video, John? This is your <laughs> ultimatum. And the ex- don't actually is, suggest that. We'll tear down this house that. if you don't post it. <laughs> you still have your Dante costume? Just go out and like that and talk to him. Oh yeah, that'll work great. He'll, fre- he'll freak him out, I promise. It would freak no, me trust, out. I, weirder things have happened in this town, man. That would that be just like, oh, it's just a normal day in Calgary. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you and your five murders. The Jersey Shore equivalent in, ca- in Canada. Oh, man. Calgary is the the Jersey Shore of Canada. No, God, I hope not. We're we're, we're the super redneck place, though. That's about it. So Beatus would fit right in perfectly. Mm-hmm. How do y'all? I'm in Calgary. I believe that's pronounced Suikoden. Alberta, <laughs> Alabama. Suikoden. 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 This... It's like the. It's just when you're talking to pig. It's Suikoden. Sweet Cody. Sweet You gotta do it with the suey as well. You gotta do it with the high pitch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's that, yeah. I don't think you could recruit a pig in that game. Either of those games. Either of those five games. I tell you what game you can think- get pigs in. And you can ride them around. Is too. it Minecraft, Ava? I even knew it was Minecraft. I knew it. You can do that in Battletoads as well. Aren't they dragons, though? Well, they're dragon flying pigs, but they're still right. pigs. Part pig, nonetheless. Hey, that reminds me. Did you see the uh, Way Forward made a new Double Dragon game? Yeah, it came out like Wednesday, didn't it? Yeah, Double Dragon Neon. Apparently, it's actually pretty good. I uh, I really like Way Forward. They do like they do a lot of older. Well, not a lot. I mean, not exclusively, but they do a lot of like very interesting two D games, more or yeah. less. Well, I mean, they've they've done a lot of the big ones. They did Contra Four. I yeah, think that was them. That was them. That's right. Yeah. And then the that two D Blood Rain game, which was actually the like the best Blood Rain game or something. I I never played Blood Rain. You didn't miss much. It was a leather-clad vampire Nazi vampire killing Nazis. Boobies, yeah. Mm. yeah, pretty much what Dave Sounds like I'm missing a lot, actually. Wasn't it, a, wasn't it a movie, like, by that, like, Uwe Boll did or whatever? I think there's three. He did Blood Rain? I thought so. Yeah, he did the first Blood Rain. Like, that was 
Nazis. The second one was like medieval times. The third was uh, the Wild West or something like that. Mm. There's also like two House of the Dead movies now. How? I don't know. I don't think he did the second one. I think someone else did. But who would even want a House of the Dead movie? (laughs) YouTube.com. No, there's like 30 House of the Dead movies on there, probably. <laughs> the only way a House of the Dead movie would be cool, if it was like interactive, and so you sat down and your seat had like a little plastic gun. <laughs> so it's just an de- FMV game? That, yeah, that would be depending good, on actually. how the audience did, you got a different movie. And if you lose, you die in real life? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the Clue of... Uh, it's a Clue movie, basically. The Clue yeah. movie different, is different good. I never saw the Clue movie. The Clue movie is great. I would highly recommend you see that. Yeah, you should watch it. Yeah. it had, uh, apparently, when it was out in theaters, it had like different endings they put in different yeah. theaters. Yeah, that's what am I right. saying? I did, I did see this movie. I don't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I, yeah. I, see. Yeah. Then on VHS, they had all three versions. I remember now. That's right. <laughs> VHS, yeah. please. And I remember that movie. Mm-hmm. And they had that French maid character that wasn't in anything in the in any of the board game for some reason. Wasn't that just Miss White or whatever? No, Mrs. White was a guest in the house in the movie, but they also had a maid. Who was yep. somebody else who wasn't one of the and, six. And just Tim Curry was just there. Yeah. As the butler. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Spoilers, he's Mr. Body. That's, he well, in ending C he was, I think. Right, but really? that's the canonical ending, right? Uh, <laughs> according to the VHS. Not in my theater. <laughs> Look, on the, on the Clue.com website I go to and post it. <laughs> according to the game of Clue I played yesterday. Has anyone done a Let's Play of Clue? Gotta be. There's a couple of video game versions of it. I'm actually thinking about doing some Let's Plays of board games in real life. You should just do Cards Against Humanity. There's an online version of it. Yeah, I was uh, thinking... That one's a pretty cool one. Well, in our schedule, things to do was do a podcast of a tabletop game. We're doing that, too. Yeah. And that's that's up to Davo to put together, though. I was thinking the other day, I was wondering, I, was like, I wonder if you could make like a roguelike Phoenix right, and I'm like, oh, wait, no, that's like, kind of clue, basically. And then you played Bind of Isaac some more. <laughs> Actually, um, I, pl- I played that Danganronpa game. Oh. And How is it, your uh, Binding of Isaac playthrough going right now? I'm in the womb. Uh, How is your like... Binding of Isaac playthrough going right now is what I asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't <laughs> care about your sending into the womb right now, Slogan. <laughs> I'm having sex with my fiance while we're talking. No, um, well, uh, no, we don't do that. Uh, not <laughs> Anyway, say she's quiet. <laughs> no, I'm just very bad in bed. Um, His fiance is YouTube.com. I'm in the the womb one, which is if you know is like the second to last. Uh, I guess I guess the second to last level. I don't know. It depends Honestly. on how many times you've beaten the game. I thought I thought so because I saw like a YouTube blade video where you can like fight Satan or something. So well, nice. you can fight Satan, you can fight Mom's heart, and you can fight spoilers Isaac. What? Did I just work? blow your damn mind? The, the actual biblical Isaac. You, oh, you that's right. Go through the Bible. Mm-hmm. I thought I was metaphorically the actual physical Isaac. It makes yeah. you think. Mm. Weird that a it's $5 you. Newground Splash game can do that, right? Deep. I'd give that a 3 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys have someone actually playing Flash games for you now? Uh, have you gotten to that point? Well, Somebody did the like, what? Jack so Frank? I'm on Form Spring, and one person I think one time brought up, "Hey, are there any Flash games you guys want to do?" And I was like, "Yeah, but recording them can be a hassle sometimes." So we've kind of moved past that and done the long play stuff just because it's easier. And then I think someone in response to that said, "Well, if you want to do any Flash games, I'd be happy to record them for you." It's like, okay, just you know, if you get around to it, let us know. And one guy did the um, recorded the Jack French video for us that we posted pretty recently. And I was like, okay, so that know, seems, seems kind of funny. You know what this means, right? Go well, on. You have roadies now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I forgot to tell you this. When I was at PAX Prime, I saw at least one guy wearing a Retsupre shirt. Oh, really? <laughs> Shit. Nice. Yeah. So I said to him, like, hey, I think he wasn't expecting a response. I was like, hey, that's a good Retsupre shirt. He's like, oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> He's embarrassed. He dug underground and escaped from... <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. He walked over to, like, the tentacle bento thing. The what? It was the me. what? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, David. Well, once I was wondering why he had a mohawk. Wait, what? What? Don't you still have a mohawk, Dave? What? Dave? I do still, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mystery solved. Slow beef had a slow beef had a heart attack, right? No. Slow beef. 
That explains why he's not saying anything suddenly. His mind just got blown. Sorry, uh, sorry, I had to attend to a real life thing real quick. Wait, this is real life. I'm he had to get married real quick. And so he's back. Yeah, uh, we back. missed the ceremony. Married. Shit. Uh, that was a long are, are you are you going to his wedding ceremony? Or are you gonna be the best man and do an art live RP? No, no one, no one is going. Oh, okay. Slow beef <laughs> doesn't think that me and Diabetes are gonna go and heckle his wedding. But... What the hell was that? What was that? <laughs> Fuck was that? I'm guessing that was uh, a Devo problem. I'm not sure of that one. That was well. Very... All three of us reacted to it. <laughs> I heard it too, but I'm not really. Well, sure who's who, wasn't he talking when it started? I think so. That's what my vocal cords. I, actually I thought sounded. you had like a timer for when the podcast should stop, and that's what that was. <laughs> it sounded like a balloon. When you hear the quiet fart sound, that's when we should start to <laughs> shut this thing down. That's when we've hit our time limit on Rusty Talk. Subtle. That's the name of the timer: quiet fart. <laughs> <laughs> Davo, if you could boot up quietfart.mp3 for us, no problem. Put it. In. <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, we are at an hour and ten-ish minutes. Twenty-ish. Uh, or, oh, yeah, recording-wise. Uh, recording-wise. Yeah. Um, anything else and you guys sure wanted to there, address? I'm sure there's some dumb shit you can edit out. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I did that... No, this is all be... comedy gold. Gotta leave it all in. Mm-hmm. Every second. Every second. You're not doing anything in post after all. <laughs> Nothing. PC gaming. PC gaming. It's a good plug. Oh, uh, let's do plugs. Davo, anything you want to plug? You got a Minecraft LP going? Something else, I think? I actually have all kinds of shit going. Go on. You want to hear about it? All my shit? I want to hear about all of it. Okay, all my shit. Tell First me off, all of it. Um, we're going to do the Red Spray Tabletop special episode. That's going to be fun. Do you have any games in mind for that yet? or like, I've, There's different types of tabletop, and I don't know what's what. Uh, Well, uh, I guess tabletop games are just like role-playing games that... It's like pretend, but with rules. Um, <laughs> that sounds and, uh, fun, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> LARPing. And um, we're gonna play one called Pro's Descriptive Qualities. It's free, and it's by Atomic Sock Monkey Games. And get at their website. Just look for PDQ. But it's easy because you guys are noobs, so uh, you'll understand with your tiny brains. Sure. Um, so there's that, and then. <laughs> Um, I have a new kind of a Minecraft video thing going on on my YouTube channel. That's videos for people who like have you know checked out my videos from Rhett's Prayer or something, but don't really know much about Minecraft. Uh, explain like the basics, so like it'll convince you to buy it. <laughs> okay. And then I think I'm gonna actually start doing some really short reviews of games too. Like, uh, little five minute deals. Just like games that I come across that are kind of cool that haven't gotten a whole lot of attention. The chill video game nerd? With the most mellow reviews. The, yeah, the chill review, yeah. Okay. It would be, it would be kind of like a, a, a funny sort of contrast to all, like the angry gamer kind of deals, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the happy stoner nerd? Yeah, exactly. Well, this game's pretty good. Alright, bye. <laughs> well, all right, that's good. <laughs> Five minute review. Just that's the only thing that's said. Now I'm off to play more Minecraft. You should just compare every game to Minecraft. <laughs> your review process. That's because Minecraft is the ultimate game. Well, okay. Whoa! People yeah. are gonna start thinking you're notched, like subliminally trying to get everyone to play it. I am notch. No. I'm I'm cutting your mic, David. Way to go on that uh on the language support thing, by the way. Notch. It's cool. I I paid plenty of models to be at the party and talk to dudes. <laughs> Video games. Video he games. did that for real. That's real life. That's, uh, Wait, what did he yeah, do? He did that in Vegas, didn't he? he paid there models. was like a Mojang event, and apparently they hired models to circulate and talk to the nerds. That's just a thing that happens in California, though. I went to a party it. in L.A., and that was the exact same thing. Wow. Mm. They, they just have, like, pe- like people who will show up and, like, flirt, more or less? Yeah, Pretty no, much, they, well, yeah. they work there. They're, they're dressed like they work there or, or part of the party, but they would just come around and oh. talk to people, so, like, yeah. uh, get you, like, super confident, and then just try to sell you on something eventually. Like, Or the main person will come in later and try to sell you on something. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll get some Retsu babes sooner or later, right? Retsu uh, babes? Hey, you realize babes. You're, at, you're at the point where you can just say, like, you want some Retsu ladies and they'll just show up or something. <laughs> Why did why did I have to get this popular now? We'll get some Retsu ladies who will make fun of your tiny penis. Yeah. <laughs> we got to keep the brand consistent. You know? That would you know? actually be kind of funny <laughs> if you got the models to just insult everyone at your party. Retsu Prey Dominatrix Company. Terrible return on investment, but feels great. It's like it's like the opposite <laughs> of one of those Japanese hostesses where they like tell you how great you are and that's it. Do you just know, make you feel like shit. Do you know about that? They, like, you hire these women who are just, like, who, like, pretend to talk to you and are just like, wow, that's so interesting, and pour you drinks and shit. There we go. Boom. Is that really how society has fallen, that we need to pay people to do that? Well, I, the Japanese do. That's right. I, mm. I can see that kind of making it up out over here eventually. Yeah, I, I would go for it. I mean, yeah, no, I could see that. Um, <laughs> Depressing note to end on, John. God. I'm sorry. Thanks. This is my startup. That's my startup company now. <laughs> Wait a bummer. me. That's where that's where he was busy all the time, not making videos. He's it's the runaway company. gals where they flirt with you and then run away. Oh, boy. Pretty much. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the runaway gals what? where it's chug a Conrad. Why wasn't away. that my idea? Shit. Yep. <laughs> I'm hiring you on as an idea man, Vetus. Retsu Talk is an idea podcast. A think tank. This is really just the Retsu Talk think tank. Retsu think tank. Someone has pooped in the think tank. <laughs> Retsu talk. Retsu talk. <laughs> John, anything you want to plug? <laughs> the Runaway Gals service, apparently. I guess that's a good mm -hmm. one to start. That's a good thing to plug. John's yeah. gonna be on our tabletop episode, right? Hmm. John, what? you're gonna be on the tabletop episode, right? I can if you want. Another ringing endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. If you want, I will show up. Sure. Well, that, I mean, that's a valuable thing to talk about. Like, what kind of like? Do you guys want to have like a traditional fantasy thing going on? I think that would be kind of fun. Are we talking about Retsu gals again? What are we? Oh yeah. Oh, I think yeah. he's talking about the board game. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, like right, elves. Yeah. Do you want like elves and shit going on? Like, <laughs> I do like elves. We're, we're and playing. Shit. We're gonna play Yahtzee, right? Yeah, Yahtzee. Elven Yahtzee. We're just gonna play Wars with friends, aren't we? Can we play the? Can we play one with the uh, the guy Yahtzee, who does the really fast reviews? Yeah, sure. We'll get him. That'd be pretty good. Email him. No, I'm good. <laughs> He's a fan of you guys, I believe. He sent me a PM once. Actually, it was very nice. Who isn't a fan? Uh, pretty much everyone else. <laughs> yeah, most people who aren't listening to this probably. We're right. like one tenth of um, the PewDiePie vote, so you know we're still. Oh, oh right. fuck PewDiePie. Well, how about that? How about John? Um, you're a nice guy, but he sucks, right? I, I, I don't know. I don't understand the appeal. I don't understand the appeal. He, I, you know, I went back and actually checked out his channel. Yeah, I looked at his channel to try to figure it out. I kind of laughed at some of it. I, I felt oh, yeah. guilty. Tango, guess yeah. leave. Please. I'm sorry. I guess everyone has their moments, but I, I just. What I it seems like the same thing over and over to a, me. Uh, but well, it definitely this, is, yeah. This is coming from the guy who played Mario ROM hacks for like three years, so I can't <laughs> say anything. Oh. He, no, has, can... he has some videos of um, playing like um, this game where you're like on a bicycle and it's like, it looks like the physics That's really Happy hard. Wheels. Happy yeah. Wheels, yeah. Happy Wheels. Those are pretty funny. <laughs> well, that game. Apparently, like, everyone's doing Happy Wheels videos now. It's like the YouTube thing to do. Happy Wheels, Minecraft. Isn't that like a slender. really old game, though? Happy Wheels, or...? No, uh, apparently this version's new, but it's like Trials. It's basically like a online version of Trials. It's actually a Wii U launch title. <laughs> no, that's Tank Tank Tank. Oh, sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry, one sec. Oh, there we go, yes. I, I, I beat Mom's heart with like half a heart left. Wow, so you've been playing this this whole time. That's impressive. Yep. Yeah. And he's pretty much beaten the game now at this point. Yeah, well, I use Samson. To be, or, no, not Samson, not Samson. Kane. 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 Kane's, Kane's a, good, uh, a good main. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, wait, I can go down further? Yeah, you can. If you do that, you fight Satan. But only do it if you're feeling particularly lucky. Uh, not, but what the hell? You can, you can open you the chest. You guys played NetHack yet? Podcast is going to end with him screaming, No! <laughs> Shit! Uh, I've not played NetHack. What the hell is Sheol? What? I don't know, I'm in Sheol. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Um, I only have two hearts. Oh my gosh, you should record this and post it on the internet. Should I yeah, uh, you get a million hits? Mm -hmm. um, uh, post, post, do you have a scare cam up right now? 
<laughs> I, I yes, actually I do. I just just because I record myself, no matter what I do. Yeah, that's, that's how I how often do you guys get requests for like face cam while you're doing RPs? I don't think we've ever gotten. We don't think we've ever gotten. We've ever gotten requests to uh, RP scare cam videos. But uh, right. yeah, never to do that ourselves. No, it was an idea that we had actually, like as far as how to approach PewDiePie, mm-hmm. just like like cover up his face with like our faces, so YouTube wouldn't kick our asses for it or whatever. Yeah, or just I was gonna maybe just do like my own thing called Do B Pie and just speak in a stupid you know voice the whole time. I died. It's your parody account. You died basically. Yeah. Well, I guess we have to restart the podcast then. I guess so. All right, shit. I'll hit I'll hit delete. Hang on. Oh, I think. I think that's the uh, official um, stopping point at this. Mm. John, do you have any plugs? Oh yeah. Uh, nah, not really. You do this. a pod- another podcast, don't you? Pretty regularly. Yeah, I uh, do a weekly video game podcast with my friends Nathan and Sean. So it's not as good as this one. It's it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I have low self esteem. Yay! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's called it's called the Top Down Perspective. So it's just a video yeah. game podcast. You look down oh, cool. girl shirts the whole time and talk about it. That's exactly where the name mm-hmm. came from. Yeah. How'd you know? Mm-hmm. Well, duh. That's weird. We were thinking of renaming this the Isometric Perspective. Mm-hmm. Shit competition. Mm-hmm. Uh, Damn it. Do we have anything to plug, Beef? Um, I don't know. Uh, um, each other's oh. bodies. Um, <laughs> uh, well, we're we're gonna uh, get started on King's Quest Seven at some point. Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, that's in the pipeline. Uh, Karina yeah. Kaze did record all of it, and we're aware of it, and it's it's, it's we're gonna do it when sometime. Isn't that one like that's a really long game, longer than the other ones? Isn't it, it is. It's um, how long is it? I Several hours. Like it, you record it in like seven or eight parts, but each one I think is like on average about thirty to forty-five minutes. Cobra was eight hours, therefore I'm fearless. That's that's a fair point, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but Cobra was also in fifteen minute segments. What? Well, didn't, when we recorded Cobra, we talked over fifteen minutes at a time. Whereas with this no, one, we have thirty to forty five minutes at a time. No, no, no. Uh, Cobra, so we did an hour at a time. We did. Your Dark Seed, we did it like fifteen minutes. Oh, you're right. Yeah. 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 What a jerk. Huh. Um, <laughs> running Robert, right? You know. Yes, exactly. Uh, running yeah. Robert. <laughs> what? What? Jerks. Um, so. um, I'll, I'll also I'll plug the Danganronpa LP again because I love that game. I finished the game in Japanese. I couldn't wait for the Let's Play anymore. Is that the Let's Play that was like translated in seven years or something like that? What? No. Or he's... the game itself. I mean the game. I don't know what you mean about seven years. Okay. No. I, I read there's like some RPG that got translated recently, and I thought it oh, was no, the no, same no. game, but I think I got them confused. No, it's, it's police knots, John. It's it's yeah, fucking. Never mind. It's it's what he's worked on for years. You're right. Oh, God, so insensitive. How, how could I get the two confused? Did you like Phoenix Wright, John? Oh yeah, I love the series. You'll love this. Then this is Sony's answer to Phoenix Wright. But um, it's really good. Anyway, hmm. that's well, all. Well, dead to rights. Dead to rights. Say it, John. Do I have to? Say it. Dead to rights. Yay, Dave- Davo. <laughs> That's right. Yes.